we are going to quickly walk you through the week that we've had here at Vacation Bible School. You'll notice that we have a different characters up here, and each character, one character each night, taught us a very important point. Now, here's what you need to know. When you hear one of these Bible points read out loud, you respond by putting both hands by your face like this and yelling, Wow, God! Okay? Do you think they got it? Think they got it? Alright, alright. So let's see how we do. Okay, Jackson and Micah and Colin. Why don't you come help too? Jackson, Micah, and Colin. Okay, you guys are going to read out our first, our first Bible point. So when I count to three, you're going to say it, and we'll see if they know how to respond. Ready? One, two, three. God made you. Wow, wow God. 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 They did it. That was great. Okay, I need a, I need, can you come help me read something for me? Yep, come here. I love your dress. Can you tell us your name? Raylan. Raylan, okay. Now, our Bible verse for the first night, Raylan's going to read it. And then we're going to all read it together and do the motions, okay? Do you think we can remember the motions? I hope you guys, I hope, I hope we can remember the motions. All right. Do we have the Bible? Oh, there it is. So you can even read it from up there. Can you read those words? I can help you. Thank you for making me so wonderful complex. Perfect. Okay, we're all going to read it together. We're going to do the motions. Ready? Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, now can I have one, two, three, four? Can you come help me? Can you come help me? Excellent, excellent. Okay, so on night two, I don't know if everybody can see, we met Tina the termite, and Tina taught us. So you read it out for us, and then we're all going to read it and do the motion. If God is for you, who can ever be against us? Perfect. So do you think we can all say it together and do the motions? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Good job, you guys. We're doing, we're doing an awesome job. All right. Kelsey and what's your name, sweet boy? Jackson, can you come stand over here? And do you want to come help? Okay, the three of you, come here. So on night three, we met Bubba the whale. Who knows what Bubba taught us? Bubba the whale? Okay, we're going to say one, two, three. God is always with you. Wow, God! We are just doing a great job. Dylan, can I borrow you as a good reader? Thank you. You guys, you guys can go back to your seat. Okay, here's our Bible verse. Our Bubba's Bible verse was... Yes. Can you read that for us? The Lord and your God is with you wherever you go. Perfect. Okay, so let's all read that together. The Lord and your God is with you wherever you go. Awesome. All right. Uh, Piper and Andy. All right, Piper and Andy. Think you guys can handle this next one? I think you can. Then I'm going to start pulling our beautiful youth. Okay. So then we met Skylar. Do you guys remember what Skylar taught us? This is Piper and Andy. One, two, three. God is not always with you. Nope. <laughs> and God will always love you. So that was really good. All right, so now we have a Bible verse. Luke, do you think you can read our Bible verse for us? Your unfailing love will last forever. All right, let's say seven. Ready? Your unfailing love will last forever. All right. Rihanna and Kaylee and Katie and Mary. Please, come down here. <laughs> All right. So, and then, well, I'll get Catherine in just a second. So, the four of you, please remind us in just a minute on the count of three what Abby taught us on the last night. Okay? One, two, three. I made you for a reason. Wow! God. Excellent. Okay, Catherine, I want you to read us our Bible verse from the last night. 
For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. All right, let's do that together. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. That was awesome. Now, before you leave up here, I want us to do our theme song. Do you think we can sing the theme song for all those people out there? Yes, yes. yes. All right, we're going to do our theme song. You guys can just sit and watch us for this last one. But if the spirit moves, I won't stop you. All right, let's play out a little bit. to join us for our children's message. We are now going to go have a seat on the floor. Ready? each night and I want to share a few of them and then you everyone else can come look at them later today but we have in a friend we have in Bible story we have at snack factory we saw God all over Miss Olivia Miss Olivia Miss Olivia Ian Miss Olivia Ian we're up here Miss Olivia I'm looking for Miss Olivia if you have seen Miss Olivia Miss Olivia, she's so yay tall, and she's, oh, that, that way. Oh, Miss Olivia, Miss Olivia. Oh, 
Hello. I'm so glad you're here, Ian. We have been working with Ian all week as Ian has tried to make an invention for his mom, right? So, Ian? Great news! Oh, my goodness! Oh, man. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's too great. Oh, it's too great. Okay. All right. All right. This invention, whew, it's, gonna, it's just going to blow your mind. You are not going to believe how amazing it is. Now, here's the problem. Um, all the feathers fell off. So it doesn't have feathers like I said it would, but it's still going to be amazing. As soon as you're seeing it, you're going to just weep tears of joy and go, Ian, you're an amazing inventor! And I'll go, I know. But this is going to be, are you, are you ready? I, I don't know. Are we ready? Yeah! I think we've kind of been waiting for a long time for this. I think we're ready. Should we drum roll? So she she hammers, but then as she hammers, she gets she gets hungry. So she hammers and then eats soup. And then hammers and then eats cereal and hammers and eats ice cream, not in the same bowl. But she eats all of those things. And so look, it has a purpose. It's perfect for my mom and humbly, it's the best invention ever created. It is! The spammer. You know what, Ian? I, I think your mom is going to love it. Yes! I think it's exactly what your mom needs. Yes! See, you, you hit. You, uh, yep, you the hit. spammer. Spammer. I you think you better hit. go uh, patent it. Is that the right word? Trademark it? Maybe I should show it yeah. to her first. Cause, well, cause, Ian, I'm so excited for you. I do hope you come back and maybe your mom can teach us all how to make bird birdhouses. Yes! And she would love that! I think that's an awesome invention. You did such a great job. We're so proud of you. And we hope that your mom likes it as much as we do. Right, guys? Yeah! Yes! Bye, friends! All right! Bye, something for a purpose and do you think his mom's gonna like it? It sounds like it. If his mom likes to build birdhouses and eat things with a spoon as much as he said so, I think she's gonna love it. I had so much fun with you guys this week. I hope you guys had fun at Vacation Bible School with me and I hope that we get to see you guys again soon. But right now I'm going to pray for us and then if you are in preschool we will have some friends help escort you down to our extended care time for kids and then if you are in bigger than preschool, you can go back and sit with your parents. Parents, does that sound good? It makes sense. Okay. Yes, kindergarten. If you're going into kindergarten, you can go down there too. Good question, Andy. Thank you. Okay. Well, then you can go sit with your mommy, Colin. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We ready? I'm going to say a few words, and can you repeat after me? Yes, you can go to your mom. And, but no, wait, can you pray with us first? Does that sound good? All right. Okay. I'm going to say a few words and you can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for, for such a fun week learning about you. Thank you for creating each one of us and loving us every day. Amen. Amen.